What's going on everybody welcome back to Spotlight Productions and today we got the Tulsa uh, year one recap video today if it's your first time here make sure to hit subscribe hit that like button turn on your notification bell never miss a beat leave a comment with um, how you feel about how this year went and yeah as you can see as I advance uh, we're not going to advance past the end of the season we'll do that in the off season live stream but uh, that will be Saturday March the 24th at 1 p.m. Central Time if you uh, I would like to see as many people there as possible um, but yeah so that will be um, uh, from when this video is going up it will be about six days but as you can see Josh Anderson wins the single season uh, receiving touchdowns uh, at receiving touchdown um, in a season record with 17 and Jesse Budabaker um, wins career sacks with uh, 21 total previous was 20 and yeah, that was, is um, all the records we got for it right now. Let's advance to the end of the week. And I do have a head coach upgrade, so I will go put that into recruiting. Um, uh, I guess, let's, gosh, can I didn't do that? I wish. Um, let's just, yeah, we'll just put it right there. Okay, so let's go take a look at the uh, end of the year stats and how we uh, compared to everybody else. So, over here to the stats. Uh, Ryan Ruby finished fourth in passing in the NCAA with 3,600, nearly 3,700 yards. Um, Brian Ryan finished 20th in the nation with 1,433 rushing yards. That's surprising. I'm, I'm surprised he got that high. Um, Josh Anderson, uh, Josh Anderson finished third in the uh, receiving yards with uh, 1,358. Um, Josh Walker, Craig Suits, Michael Thomas, and Sims all lead tackles uh, in. The top three in the 80s and then one in the 58. Frankie Davis finished fifth in the um, nation with 10 sacks. And Jeff Cook finished 92nd, which is probably a tie for three sacks. And Schroper has, I believe, the longest field goal unless he got outdone. Yes, he does a 55 yards. Um, for stats, uh, here's our uh, that punter stat. That was um, a um, CPU deal. But Ryan Rigby was 206 for 322, 3,693 yards, 31 touchdowns, 9 interceptions for the senior, averaged 236 yards a game and 63% completion percentage. Tremblay came in and played a little bit. He was 28 for 44, 454 yards, 4 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions. Ryan Ryan had 238 attempts for 433 yards, averaged exactly 6 yards a carry and 15 touchdowns for the redshirt freshman. Had a phenomenal season. Nine carries um, from 120 yards, 311 um, yards after contact, and three broken tackles. But I think, it really, though, he had more, in my opinion. Uh, receiving the ball, Brian Ryan had 11 catches for five, 51 yards, about five yards to catch, and two receiving touchdowns. Scott Brown was our backup, and he ran for 240 yards, 5.5 a carry, and two touchdowns. He also had a receiving touchdown on five for 35. And then everybody else, uh, Ryan Ruby had four rushing touchdowns. Chad Evans had two. D'Angelo Brewer had two carries off uh, in, I believe, season opener. In the receiving game, um, we had a bunch of production. We had 2,000-yard receivers, sophomore, Blythekoth, All-American. Many awards go over here for Josh Anderson. Or he had uh, 64 catches for 1,358 yards, averaged 21 yards a catch, and 17 touchdowns, which is the record. Averaged around 100 yards per game, 200 yards after catch, and only six drops for the sophomore. Nigel Carter, the senior, had a great senior season with 55 catches for nearly 1,200 or 1,150. I thought, I thought it said like 1,190 or something. About 20, 21 yards to catch for him as well, and nine touchdowns for the senior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I believe only three drops, right? Uh, two. So yeah. Chad Present is only a junior. I thought he was a senior at the beginning. Um, he had 45 receptions for 749 yards, uh, three touchdowns, and averaged 53 yards a catch. Him and Josh Anderson will be the top guys going in. And then John Hurd was our fourth receiver as he had uh, 27 catches for 413 yards and one score. Sherlander, a tight end, he'll be moving on from the program, unfortunately. Redshirt Senior had 20 catches for 252 yards and no touchdowns. Chris Bell came off as the fifth receiver, and he had uh, six catches for 102 yards and two scores. Brian Ryan had those two scores, and I think that's everybody that is worth mentioning. Uh, let's see who gave up sacks before we get on to the defense. 
looks like um not terrible or there's a nine never mind and that would be a right tackle johnson uh, uh hopefully he can bounce back from that he is one of our lower overall linemen and for everybody else pretty good job i feel like i don't know how buda baker gave up a sack but michael thomas leads the way with 90 total tackles and 81 solos nine for assists 13 tackles for loss let's do that first craig suits 22 tackles for loss wilson 17 sims 16 14 for walker 13 for buda baker 13 for davis 13 for thomas and 11 for phillips eight for rollins and three for hanks three for humphreys two for cook one for carmen size love that's all of our tackles for loss sorry um uh, let's see, Josh Walker had 87 tackles, Craig Suits 84, Sims 62, and I'll just scroll down because I don't want to name everybody here. Um, so as of 40 sacks, Frankie Davis leads away with 10, Phillips has 9, Wilson had 7, and yeah, we got to move on to th those three. Uh, Rollins will be taking over at nose tackle next year, he had 6 off the bench, I'm excited for him. Uh, Buda Baker had 6, we also got to move on from him. Hanks, um, we're moving on from him, but he got benched after a couple games. He had two. Suits had one, and Thomas did. Interceptions, Cooks had three. Sims had two. Multiple people with one. Thomas, Mitchell, Evans, Humphreys, and Walker. Uh, fumbles, or there's yards for that. All right, my bad. Um, pass deflections, Humphreys had five. Evans, five. Cooks, three. Phillips, two. Walker, two. Thomas, one. Sims, one. Three forced fumbles from Craig Suits, uh, one from Humphreys, Golden, Davis, Rollins, and Walker. Scott Brown recovered two. I think those were missed field goals that he returned, actually. So Sims, Suits, Phillips, Golden, Davis, Walker, West. Or, sorry, he didn't have one. And we had no safeties, and that was a Sims. So. Yeah, and our field goal kicker, he, um, I think he went perfect. All right, let's head over to um, the um, awards. I want to show you guys that. So, uh, the Heisman winner for the uh, season is Royce Freeman, the uh, senior power running back, 99 overall. Uh, let's see what he did. He had um, eight, about 1,900 yards and how many touchdowns? 18. So, great season for him. And let's get into the um, conference standing. So Tulsa obviously finished on top at 13 and one. Northwest, our only loss, I went ended up eight and five. Did make a bowl game, and let's see if they won that bowl game. Um, yes, they did. They beat Old Dominion 38 to 14. Northwestern finished up here. That was a great win for us. Minnesota also was pretty good, and that was dominant. Michigan, Michigan State, and Nebraska. No wonder we blew them out. They were terrible. Uh, Ohio State finished 12 and two, only two losses to us. They beat their bowl opponent, which was Louisville. Uh, let's see, Penn State, Illinois, Wisconsin. We did beat Purdue, but that was one of our closer games. Indiana and Houston. So that's our conference. Um, let's head over to the schedule and uh, take a look at all of our games. Sorry if this is a long video. That's the point of it. So, um, let's see. Can I just go to? I don't have just individual teams here. Or is it here? Yes, okay. So we beat Ohio 48-3 in the um, first game of the season. This was just a uh, cupcake game for us, and it was a great game. Um, Brian Ryan ran for over 100 yards in this game. Good start for everybody. Rugby had 171 yards. Uh, let's see. Yep. And receiving, uh, Josh Anderson, there he is. Nigel Carter and Chris Bell, a lot of people here. On week two, we faced uh, East Carolina, beat them uh, by 10 points. Not a bad win, but uh, for our record, that was doesn't look very good. Uh, versus Purdue, or I'll just go over some of the game's box scores that are important. Uh, at Purdue, we had a huge lead in this game. Um, they had their comeback. And, uh, yeah, Josh Anderson, I think, had two touchdowns. We escaped Purdue, 38-34. Then we beat Ohio State, 30 to. 34-20. This was a huge win for us at the time. They were ranked number one. I think we had multiple defensive turnovers. It was a great game. Okay. Then we uh, played a bad Nebraska team. Beat them 56-13. to I think um, Nigel Carter, this is the game he had 270 yards. Um, this is my second favorite game this uh, year at Michigan State. We were. This was the most defensive game of the year easily. We Beat them 20 to 17. Josh Anderson scored a last second touch or last minute touchdown to take us, prevail us on to 
um, another win. We became bowl eligible after that week. Um, in week seven, this was our one slip of the season. We lost to the Iowa Hawkeyes, 33 to 30, in a um, a bad game by the defense. The offense, uh, Ryan Ruby went down, and Tremblay just couldn't get enough done, so he ended up slipping up there. At Michigan, a team that didn't even beat a bowl, make a bowl game, we went into the big house and beat them 27 to 17. Not a bad win, but I'm surprised how bad they did. Um, versus 21 or 20th ranked. In the corner, but it says 21 right there. Minnesota, we beat them 33 to 14. This was a dominant win for us. I'm surprised we beat them that bad. Um, do we have any standouts this game? I've completely forgot if we did. Uh, Ryan Ruby had a great day. Brian Ryan ran for about 100 yards nearly. Nigel Carter had a lot of catches. Um, yeah, so that was a great win at Northwestern. Another dominant win here. Good game there. South Carolina, this was the game Brian Ryan ran for 300 yards. Great game, even though they didn't finish very strong. Uh, bye week here, another one. And then we played our rival Houston, beat them by two scores. Another bye week in the conference championship game, we re-beat Ohio State. 28-9, um, great game there. Glad we beat them that bad. In the national championship, we beat uh, what's now number 5 Ole Miss at the time, number 229-27. Great game to go watch if you'd like to go do that. Our combined opponent record was about .500, so yeah, pretty good record for that. Okay, let's finally get into the All-Americans. This is the part I've been waiting for myself. Um, all right, so All-Americans. Um, first team: Josh Anderson, the Blunt winner; Frankie Davis, Phillips, Suits, Walker, and Sims and Schroper make it. On the second team, um, there's nobody on offense. It looks to be Buda Baker makes it, Thomas makes it, and Scott Brown as a returner. On the freshman All-American team, Brian Ryan, with good respect there. There was a lot of rushers with a lot of yards, so I understand why he was on the second team or anything. And uh, Scott Brown makes it as a return on the freshman All-American team. Um, let's head over to the um, All-Big Ten. And Ryan Rugby's there. Um, Anderson and Carter both make it. Davis, Wilson, Phillips, Buda Baker, Suits, Walker, and Thomas. All our whole front seven made that, and that's just nuts. Humphrey, Sims, Troops, and Scott Brown. On the second team, Brian Ryan makes it. A um, couple of our linemen, Cassistine and Boyd. And I think that's it. Our West the punter does. Alright. Um, I think our I checked out the All American freshman team, so yeah, that is it. Um award winners. Let's get into this. Um Rugby and Anderson were in the running for the Maxwell. Couldn't quite get it done, though. Walter Camp, Anderson was fifth. Blenthica, ben, ben Derek, Craig Suits ends up taking this one home. With 80 tackles, two, 22 for loss, th and a sack, three forced fumbles, and one recovered. Nagurski, uh, Suits almost won it, but um, actually the defensive end that we played, McDowell, got, um, um, won the award. I don't think he did anything against us, but I can't remember. Uh, Rigby came in third for the O'Brien. The Walker goes to Nick Chubb. Blethkoff, Josh Anderson, Nigel Carter was third. Uh, Mackie, nobody. Uh, Outland, nobody. Neither for the Rendinning. Uh, for the best defensive lineman, Lombardi, I think is how you say it. Um, all four of our defensive linemen was two through five. I think, I think if Frankie Davis gets one or two more sacks, he's... Got that award to himself, but he didn't. Best linebacker, Craig Suits, Walker, and Thomas were second and third. Thorpe, Sims almost wins it. Comes in second place. I'm expecting big things from him and hum Humphreys next year. Humphreys only had one interception. That was a little bit of downfall. Schroeper wins best kicker. And the guy goes to the Albion punter. And best return, Scott Brown, is second. All right, so um, what else do we want to go over here? Bowl results. Let's go look at the Big Ten specifically. Um... Oh, actually, you gotta look through them all. One second. All right, so um, let's look here. Big Ten. Oklahoma beats um, Washington in the Holiday Bowl. Man, they didn't finish very well. Rutgers beat loses Georgia Tech. Let's see. Wisconsin edges out Baylor in the um, Mikari Care Car Bowl. And um, let's see. South Carolina beats NC State in the um, Music City Bowl. Anybody else here? Uh, LSU and Florida State. That was a good game. Chick fil A Bowl. Uh, Penn State loses to Texas AM uh, in the Gator Bowls. 41 16. Northwestern falls short to Georgia. Um, 
31 to 24. Minnesota also loses to Florida 42 17. Um, Ohio State beats Louisville. We talked about that. Um, anybody else? Texas made a bowl game. Or they were pretty good, actually. Lost by two scores to Miami. Uh, and, yeah, that's all the bowls. Um, let's see. I think we got other things to talk about here. Um, let's talk about um, our roster as who we got graduating. Of course, Ryan Rigby. Um, I got prospects to play quarterback coming in. Brian Ryan, or D'Angelo Brewer. He's only a junior, surprisingly, so he'll be back. Um, as of receiver, Nigel Carter's gone. Uh, Chad President is back with Josh Anderson. Uh, I think if I think these are all freshmen. Yes, they are. Uh, Cheryl Anderson's gone, so Prince will take over. I got a commit for a tackle. Um, I believe we graduate two seniors. So Ellis was a senior and Boyd, and then our. So we're going to be graduating three next year. I got a good tackle and I think a decent center. So we got to work on guard. Hanks will be graduating. Smith will be taking over next year. Oh, Michael Anderson. I've been kind of thinking about defensive end. And I'm glad that we came back to this so I can see what we, all we got on the roster. So Anderson will be a good player for us. I'm excited for him. All right, right in, Wilson Davis. Uh, so I guess Clifford's Phillips will take over unless if I get somebody in – recruiting that I like so we're better than I thought at defensive tackle Jesse Buda Baker Phillips and Carmen will all be moving on so Rollins will be our main guy next year and um, except for that we might need to move a defensive end or get some recruits or something I have one big defensive tackle that I'd love to get we might be moving to a 3-4 next year to fit our scheme better we have more linebackers uh, unfortunately Craig Suits we're gonna have to move on from him he was amazing so, uh, Golden's also, so, uh, Gibson's an early prospect, but I do have a lot of middle linebackers that I like. Size Love will be back next year, and he might be moving out there to the outside. That's what I'm thinking as of right now. We'll see, though. Stevenson's and Christian's, these are my guys for the future. Uh, Stevenson's redshirt this year, and then Andy Christian will be a redshirt sophomore next year. And he might be playing the other outside linebacker spot, as Cannon has the potential I do want to see Johnson got redshirt this year. So we'll see what all happens. I do have some better depth than I thought. Now at the cornerback position, um, we're in fights for, uh, we got Patterson, a corner that I love. Um, but uh, also um, as of for um, the um, guy, what guy am I thinking of? I'm thinking of uh, Brian Tatum. He's a guy that also has a great potential. I'd love to get him. So Chad Evans will be heading into his junior year. Um, yeah, we'll see if he ends up being good enough to play he was decent i mean he wasn't great only one pick but we'll see um as you can see thomas nor washington started because of speed um thomas played nickel and i started cook he did decent he especially picked it up towards the end of the year getting two uh, picks in the last two regular season games so that's awesome richardson's a guy that has some potential let's look at his um um Richard jr next year he has some speed on him so but look out for Richardson. He might be playing Barnes, Reed, and Lawrence also down here. At free safety, Humphreys is set. Uh, Mitchell, I don't think we're going to be able to find a spot for. And Sims, of course, another big one that we have on the roster. And then that was a athlete that committed. And, yeah, I see why I put on safety. He's not really good anywhere else. Uh, kicker, we got a commit from Terrence Evans. He's about as good as Schroper, honestly. But And then, yeah, that's our roster. Um... Let's see here. What else can we go over? We went over all of our games. Um, I think that's all I really wanted to go over. Uh, we could go look at some school records. Um, don't have any there. Uh, Chad Evans was from another part of this uh, dynasty. Josh Anderson has the uh, receiver record. Why does it say 2 2015? That's odd. Uh, defense, Boo the Baker and Phillips, or Phillips had five sacks in the game. What? What was that? The season opener? Maybe I forgot what game that was, but the bulk of his sacks came that one game. Brian Ryan, uh, I think he has a potential to get these records, especially the career and touchdown rushing TD records. Now, season 24 is a lot, and uh, in yards in season, oh, Brian Ryan was pretty close. He was only about 100 yards off. That 2008 running back was pretty good. All right, I think that might just do it here. Let me check out um, 
to see if we got anything else. Uh, let's we can go look at like uh, job security and stuff. I know we're easily at 100. Uh, let's go look at um, coach philosophy. Should we look at that? No. Uh, and as of for this uh, award winners, players of the week, and bold results, we looked at all that. So I think that's going to do it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the recap video here um if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new um that was just basically a recap to give you guys um the overview of how tulsa did over the season um yeah so we'll be getting on to the um custom recruits video next episode and then the off season live stream will be coming after that and um sorry i've been commentating for this for a long time but um we'll be getting on to those videos and then season two will be premiering um, hopefully next week, it I might be a little early, I might, it'll probably premiere that Friday or Monday, I hadn't decided yet, it'll probably go up Friday or something like that, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, um, I appreciate your support, and hopefully I will see you guys there in the live stream and the other, or the recruits video, it's worth going back and watching season one, it was a great season, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time, have a great rest of your day.